Hello everybody and welcome back to the Luke Martin Show website as I continue my video series this week of previewing the upcoming season for the Columbus East Olympians and today I'm talking about the Columbus East offense. I talked about the Columbus East defense yesterday. The good news is about talking about the Columbus East offense is you don't have a lot of issues like the defense does in replacing guys in the secondary, defensive line, linebackers, losing 10 of the 11 starters on defense. You go to the offense and you only lose about three or four. So that's the positive news. And most of them, uh, besides about three of them, played a lot. So let's go ahead and dive right into previewing the Columbus East offense and looking at the offense. Like I said, they don't lose very much. You only lose Peter Harper and Paul Suda on the offensive line. So you got three of the five offensive linemen coming back. You lose Tanner Horn at wide receiver. Tanner got hurt through most of the year. That's been the you know most common story year after year. Tanner just had horrible luck staying healthy in football. Uh, but you lose Tanner Horn, then obviously you lose Damon Megerly, the big name at running back. So you, there's a big hole there to fill uh, for somebody uh, to be had there. Uh, but I really think that this team offensively is just going to be loaded. I mean, you got Gunnar Keel, who obviously is a phenomenal quarterback, but I think it, what's more impressive is the surrounding cast. I think he's got a phenomenal offensive line. He's got a phenomenal wide receiving core. And you're talking about a guy, I and mean, he, he can throw to his fifth option, I mean, or fourth option out there. I mean, it's it's ridiculous to know how many guys this kid has to throw to. He's got Jackson. He's got Shane. He's got Cole Thompson. He's got Luke Hampton, a young wide receiver. Uh, I mean, th- th- you can just go on and on at the guys he's got to throw to. Uh, I, I think it's unbelievable about how many guys. Gunner Kill has to throw to. No doubt Gunner is a phenomenal quarterback. I mean, Gunner is going to go D1 basically anywhere he wants to, but I'm more impressed with the people around him and the surrounding cast he has. Everyone starts talking about, you know, is he better than Dusty? Is he better than Drew? But when you get right down to it, you know, I'm not. I'm a one that's not going to go into that argument because I think you know. Look at who they've had there. You know, look at the surrounding cast. I think Gunner's had more to work with than what Dusty and then what uh, Drew had to work with uh, when he was there. I mean, Drew obviously had Stevie, Dusty had DeWeese and Nick Olds. Uh, Gunner's got plentiful, uh, plentiful people there uh, to pick and choose choose from. But Gunner's a final quarterback. Uh, so who's who's going to have to step up? You know, I think it's the big part of this offense I think it starts at the offensive line. I think, you know, even though I said three of the five come back, there's going to be two new guys. You know, the three of the five that are coming back have started almost every year. Uh, you know, Tyler Rayburn, Zane Yeager, who played a phenomenal year last year, got my most improved offensive player award uh, a year ago. Uh, and then you have uh, Tyson Moore coming back. So you're going to have two guys step in. I don't know who those two are going to be. I think there was, I forget his name. He is a huge kid. He was a freshman last year, going to be a sophomore this fall. More than likely, he'll get that spot. And then probably Coach Gaddis or Coach Miller, more importantly, is going to go after, I think, someone in the senior class maybe to replace um, the fifth, you know, and get the fifth spot. I don't know who that will be. Uh, I'm anxious to see who it will be, but I think the offensive lines will be a big key in how those two uh, can come in and see if they miss a beat. Uh, I think if they can come in and be better than last year's offensive line, this team's got a chance to do something uh, in postseason play. It's just one of those things. The offensive line's got to be a huge key, folks. It's because we're not in Texas. We're not in Florida where the weather's nice year-round. Come the later months into the year, the weather in Indiana is not going to be that great. You cannot count on throwing the football in rainy weather and really cold weather. I mean, it, you, just, you just can't put all your chips in one bag, you know. I mean, you just can't do that. And uh, all your eggs in one basket, you know. you, you got to be able to make it even between the running game and the passing game. And that's why the offensive line is going to be a huge, huge key. And who to look out for? I interviewed John Hunter on my show I think a year ago, but I think there's some rumblings that he may not be no longer being at running back. He may be moved somewhere else. He may be moved the defensive line or somewhere. So for that reason, but not for that reason, I think this kid 
has an unbelievable future. I wish I could see his senior year. I think it'd be just phenomenal of uh, what he's doing. Uh, and that kid is no other uh, than Andrew Wilson. I think Andrew Wilson's going to have a breakout year, especially if he gets a shot there running back. He's a, he's a running back that's north to south. And, and I love north to south running backs. You know, I, I can't stand those running backs that run 50 yards total, but they only gain one yard. They run 49 yards going east to west. Uh, you, you just can't do that. And, uh, I mean, you got to be able to go north and south. And Andrew Wilson, man, he is very strong. He's, he, he, you know, I just really like him as a running back. I like all the things he does. Uh, you know, I could just tell as a freshman, well, really as a sophomore last year, I saw him a lot, uh, team camp and stuff. You can just tell he has it. He has that it factor. I think Andrew is going to be another tool in the bag uh, for uh, for Gunner Kill to use. I mean, you know, you look at all those tools Gunner has, Andrew Wilson is going to be another in the running game, and Andrew is going to have to step up as well. We need a running game this year. But like I said, it's going to start at the offensive line, then it's going to go on Andrew Wilson. And if a lot of it goes on Andrew Wilson, I think we're going to have a phenomenal running game this year. But the chances are, will we run a lot? Probably not. We're going to be throwing a lot. But like I said, I think we're going to have to get a running game going if this team wants any shot to go deep into the tournament. Well, that does it for this breakdown video of the Columbus East offense. Tune in tomorrow as I talked about the impact players. I'll go more in depth about Gunnar Keel and all those type of guys and tell you why they're just so good. Uh, just go through a lot of things, talk about who the impact players are for the Columbus East football team. I'm Luke Martin for the Luke Martin Show.